Hi, Ben. Good evening. Hello. How are you tonight? Okay, you're great. Okay. So that's good to hear that. You, oh, it's quite blurry. Your camera is blurred. Your camera is blurry, Ben. Shh. Shh. Julian, sit down. Okay. Okay, Ben. Now, Ben, we are going to have the speaking. We are going to have speaking for the cat. Cat speaking. I will share you the screen for the cat speaking. I have here random of speaking for cat. Shh. Sorry, Ben. Okay, so now while teacher Anne will talk on speaking, we are going to speak. You are going to speak. Okay, so this is the part one. Okay, teacher will just have to ask random questions, different questions. Okay, now all you have to do just to answer teacher Anne's questions. This is a practice for your speaking. Now, how long have you learned English? How long? Like? Three or four years. Wow, three or four years. That's quite long, Ben. Okay. What time do you do your lesson? Okay, sorry. What time do your lesson start in the morning for teacher Anne? It's very early, right? 7.30? You start 7.30 with teacher? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now. Okay. How many students are there in your class? This is in your classroom. In your classroom, how many students do you have? How many classmates do you have, brother? 34. Oh. 36, 34. 35. Okay, wait for a minute, Ben. Just wait me for a minute. Hey, next. Now, how many students are there in the class? You told me you've got 35 classmates. Now, yeah. here. So many, Ben. Okay. How do you go to school every day? My mom or my dad took me to school. Hey, your mom or your dad took you to school by motorbike? Yeah, every day. Okay, Sometimes by motorbike. By car. Okay. Okay, by car, some after school. Example, you don't have anything to do. You're free. You finish school and you're waiting. You in school. What do you do in school? I have... Um, I have a group. Okay, you will? What will you do? I will go to uh, the cycle with my friends. Okay, you do with your friends. Okay. Now, tell me something about your favorite teacher in your school, right? You have your favorite teacher. Who is your favorite teacher? I don't know. Okay, you don't have favorite teacher in school? No. My favorite subject is English. Your favorite teacher is English, your English teacher. What is the name of your English teacher? Is it is he a boy or a girl? A woman. A woman, okay. What's the name of your English teacher in Vietnam, a woman? I don't know. Oh, you don't it's, know the name? Uh, you don't know Ben? Oh my God. <laughs> you don't know the name? Um, it's a long, so name. long name, okay. 
Oh, in the Philippines, you know what? In the Philippines, most of the students here, they have to call the teacher, example, teacher. They, I will call you Teacher Anne. That's the, that's the name, Teacher Anne. Teacher Jessa, Teacher Macon, Teacher Rose. Okay, that's Teacher. Teacher Myra, Teacher May, Teacher JC. So that's the name. That's the student, how we call it. Not mom. We call it teacher. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Like that. So at least students will remember the name of the teacher because it's quite long. So we have to make a nickname like short name. Anne, May, Jessa, Myra, uh, JC. Okay, like that. Jen. Okay, that Rose. That's short name. So that students can remember us. Okay, that's in the Philippines, Ben. Okay, now here. Okay, so how long have you learned English? Okay, you will yes, I have learned English for three or five months, teacher. Okay, or I have learned English since when I was in grade two. Okay, so do you understand about this? Yeah. So when you try to listen, okay, when you try to mention Ben about how long, so period of time, number or time word, you will use the word for, okay? Okay, so you will just why would I say how long have you learned English, Ben? I have learned English. Okay, I have learned English for three months now, teacher. For three years already, teacher. So there is a period of time. Number three years. Number. Okay, you understand this? You understand what teacher I'm telling you? Yeah. Okay, very good, Ben. Okay, wait for a while. Okay. So that's why. Okay, that's why it is good to use this one. Okay, so again. When you mention for, we are talking here about the period of time. How long? So here we have here for and since. What is the different teacher when you say for? Actually, they're the same. Actually, we can use either the two. We can use for, we can use since, since. okay. We can use for, we can use since. They are, use, uh, I mean, they are useful. We can use both. Okay, but what is the difference, teacher Anne? Okay, here for a while. In here, when we measure the duration of something or how long it lasts, we use four, like three years, three months, three days, three weeks, duration of the how long. So you will use four. Okay, it has a start point and an end point and can be used in different tenses. Okay, I studied English in Ireland teacher for two years. Oh, that's good. Look at that one. I will be there for around two months. Okay, there is a time. There is duration. Months, year, like that. We have been married for 16 years, teacher. Okay, that's one. So do you understand, teacher Anne? Do you understand me? Yeah. Okay. So that is four. How about the word since, teacher? What is this, teacher Anne? The word since. When we say that for there is a period of time, number, since starting point, there is a time and a date. When something passed and continue until now, okay, like what I say, perfect. Tense. Okay. He hasn't eaten. Okay. Oh, why is it Anne is lonely? Why is it teacher Anne is hungry? Because she hasn't eaten since seven. Why teacher Anne is hungry? Hungry because she has not eaten lunch. I have been working her. I have been working here since June. Okay, that's June, since June. So what, what are we now? We are July. Okay, so since June, I work there. Here, by the way. We have been married since 2002. Oh, we have been married. It's mean 2002, we are married already. So we are married for 19 years now. Okay. We, okay. So it means we are already married for 19 years. 19 years now. 19. For 19 years. Okay, so as you can see here, Ben, mostly, okay, look at this. Mostly, you can see in since, it talks, okay? When you use since, there is time and there is date. 
Okay. Can you state for since? Do you understand, Ben? Do you understand this? Do you understand, teacher Anne? Okay, very good. Okay. Wait for it. Okay, now look at here. So look at here some of the sample in when we use for. We have here for 10 minutes. Okay, it's time. Okay, for 10 minutes, for 8 hours, for 5 days, for centuries. Since 8 o'clock, Monday, February 1982, I left at school and last February, century. Now, Ben, please. Okay, Ben, did you understand this? Yeah. Did you understand? Yeah. Okay, now, it's time for you. Please try to give me a sentence, one sentence, using the word for. Okay, go. Um. Okay. Let me. Okay, please tell me, okay? Go, Ben. Chang, chang, chang. You sing four. One four and one since. If you truly understand, I want. Die. Take. Die. Die. You take the pictures while Copper is here. Uh, I, I trade copper. Okay. okay, go. Teacher will wait. Teacher will wait. I will wait you in for 10 minutes. Oh. I will wait. I will wait you for 10 minutes. I wait. Wait for a while. Oh, wait. What happened? I I will wait you for 10 minutes. Very good, Ben. Okay, next since copper since since I have lived, I have lived in Scotland since 2002. I have again, again. I have. I have lived in Scotland since 2002. I have left. Okay, for a while, Ben. Just a minute, Ben. You wait me for. So look at here again. I have left you left in Ireland or Scotland? In Scotland. Scotland. For, I mean, Scotland, since? Since 2002. Since 2002, teacher. Okay, very good, Ben. Okay, so you understand this, Ben? You understand? Yeah. Yes, that's great. Yay, great job. So this is what teacher Ann told you. If I am asking questions, at least you understand what is teacher is telling you because if you cannot answer if you cannot give sentence to teacher of course it means you did not understand the lesson okay you understand you understand ben okay you understand ben yeah clear yes very good okay now Wait for a while. I will erase. Very good, Ben. Great job. What happened? Wait for a while. Ben.
Just wait, Ben. The computer hangs. Oh my God. Ben, did you hear teacher Anne? Yeah. Okay, for a while because the computer hangs. Sorry, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Just wait for a few minutes. Okay, important, Ben. You were able to understand what teacher Anne is trying to tell you. Very good, Ben. Yay. Hey. Great job for tonight. Okay, wait. Oh, okay, it's here, Ben. Okay? So, very good, very good. Great job, Ben. You were able to answer this properly. Yay! Hey, teacher is happy. Okay? So, now let's move to the next. Okay, I will erase first. Okay? So, sure, you understand this, right? 100%. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, here, let's move 100%. Okay? Now, what time do your lessons start every day in school? Not in teacher Anne, in school, in your school. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Wow, that's too early. In the Philippines, we start our lesson at eight o'clock. And we will be having our flag ceremony at 7.30. They will have to raise the flag. Then the students will sing. The national anthem, they will sing, raise the flag, and they will have to do morning exercise. Dancing, Me like too. that. Yeah. Me they will have... Too. They will, ah, you have flag ceremony also? They will raise the flag? I will sing. I will, yeah. yeah. National anthem. Dance. And they will, after they sing and dance, they are, after they sing the national anthem, okay, when you... In Vietnam, do you raise flags like this? Flags. Yeah. Oh. We also have like that in school. We raise flags. After we raise flag, we sing like that. And then after we sing, we will have the exercise, morning exercise, like dancing. What's the fa what's the what we dance? Better yet, I'm dancing. Oh yeah, like that. We dance every day in school. So after we dance, after we have our exercise, we will have to go to what? We will have to go and start the class. Okay. okay. Yes. Now, how many students are there in your class? How many students are there in your class? Oh, there are 35. Okay. Your answer could be the lesson start at blank. There are, okay, Veran, there are 35 students or classmates in my class. Now, look at this band. Okay, these are some of the transportations that you will use in going to school. Of course, we have here the car for a while, Ben. Okay, next we have the motorcycle. Here, the motorbike. Next is the bicycle. Next is the bicycle. Okay. We have here the scooter. Okay. We have here the scooter. Okay, scooter. Can you see that? Next is the vehicle. Okay, it could be the car. This one, mini bus. The small one. And this one is the bus. This is mostly what we use in the school, the school bus. The Philippines, the color of the school bus in the Philippines is color yellow. This one, the lorry, the big bus, the lorry, the train. Okay, do you have train? Okay, by the way, Ben, you're living in Danang? No. Where? Uh, far from uh, your place. Okay, what's the name of your place? It's not Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. Okay, what is it? I'm right there. Okay. 
Okay, where, where? Ah, wait, this, this one. Bindin. Ah, there is a place, Bindin, Ben. Bindin. Yeah. Oh, it is far from Hanoi. Yeah, a thousand kilometers. Oh my God, but you're, but that is a city, right? Uh, a town. Ah, it's a town, okay. So, next is, okay, finish. First, we have a uh, airplane. Oh, airplane. Okay, you know, have you ride airplane? Um, have you tried riding an airplane? I never. But, oh, never? Yeah, but one day I can build that. Okay, because... Especially nowadays, it's pandemic, so you don't need to go somewhere because it's pandemic. So it's very, it's very dangerous to go anywhere. Okay, next is... But, but, or I can go to school by minibus. Minibus. Ah, minibus. Yeah, there's a yeah. minibus also. Eh, not a school bus. Not a school bus. No. They use minibus that a uh, school bus. Oh. Okay. Next is... Wait. Rocket. You know rocket? Yeah. Yeah, mostly... Uh, when you have to travel to space, you use the, what's that, the scientist, the aerospace, or the astronaut use rocket, okay? So we can see this rocket in the movie, right? In the movie, we yeah. can see rockets. There are a lot of rockets. Next, ferry. This is a boat, a big boat. Yeah. And this is a boat, of course. And this one, the sailboat. And this one, the ship, ship is bigger than ferry boat. Okay, ferry boat is quite smaller than the ship. Okay, mm -hmm. have you tried any of this, the four? Which of the four you have tried to, you have tried to ride? I never do that. Oh, really? Not even once? Not even, but one day I can go that. Okay, one day. Wait for a while. Now, of course, someday. Oh, now here. Your favorite teacher. Okay. Helpful outline. Your favorite teacher. Now. Okay. Now, you tell me, Ben, about this one. Okay. In this one, in the chat box, you tell me your favorite teacher, how old he is. Is he beautiful, handsome, uh, white, or black? What is his personality or her personality? Kind, rude, strict, smart. Okay, you tell me. You think first, you think first. You think of your favorite teacher. Not only English, any teacher that you like in your, in your school. I know you have favorite teacher who is kind. What do you like in a teacher? What is the personality that you like in a teacher? You want a teacher, the smart teacher? You want the smart? Can, can I don't, don't write a name? Oh, just don't write the name. Okay, just don't write. Just make a name, Mr. Blank. Okay. Okay. Just don't write the name. Just put Mr. X or Miss X. Okay. 
Okay, just don't put the name of the teacher. Just put Mr. X or Miss X. Bang, 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 bang,
OK. Uh, okay, where is it? Okay, I will check it in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. XXXX, Mrs. X, she's 84 years old. <laughs> I think Vietnamese teacher, she's smart and she's very happy person. Okay, very good then. Okay, so you were able to describe this Vietnamese teacher, but she's very old. Okay, she is 84, she's old, but he is kind. Okay, look at that. When you say physical appearance, okay. Of course, you will have to tell physical. What's the physical? Tall, thin, the hair is short, long, curly. Personality, the teacher is kind. The teacher is smart. The teacher is considerate. The teacher is very patient. Okay, so those are personality. Like you will tell, Ben is smart. Teacher Anne is kind. That's my personality. That's your personality too. Do you understand? Yeah. Ben? Yes, there is. Okay, we have here speaking part two, answer prompt questions. We have the, the prompt. Okay, now please tell me, Ben, this. Look at the card and please answer the prompt questions. Okay, I will give you time to look at the card. Okay. Oh, you know how to do it already. You know how to write? You know how to put yeah. heart? Oh, how did you learn? You know already? Yeah. Wow. Okay, very good. What is the name of the school? Oh, before you didn't you didn't know, right? You need to yeah. borrow Tetris pen, but now very good. What is the name of the school? Okay, what's the name of the school? No, 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 no. Here, 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 here. You will have to look at the card. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry for that. North London Language School. Cakes. Okay. Mill Road. Okay. Are there English classes? Yeah. Okay. How many hours does the course last every week? Can I, can I read off? And you? Can I read off? Okay, go, go, go. Okay, North London Language School in Mill Road. Finish business English School. What is this? What is this, what is this letter? Course. Business English course. Yeah, it's course. Course. Yes. And it starts? Uh, start, and it starts at April 29th and ends at May 24th. Very it, good. It, for, it has four records and 50 hours every week. Very good. And it price. One hundred and eighteen pounds. Okay, very good. Oh, so you answer everything. It cost one hundred eighty pounds. Okay, one hundred eighty pounds for okay for just a month. A month. That's one hundred eighty pounds. That's quite expensive. Okay, very good. Now, how about this? These are the questions. Okay. okay. New England Bookshop. Okay. 18 Princeton uh, Road. Large, largest bookshop in town. Books for language learning, dictionaries. Okay. Travel books on Friday from, from Monday to Friday. Uh, at 9 a.m. to 8, 8 p.m. Okay. You can tell at 713880. Okay. Does it open on Saturday? Monday to Friday. 
Okay, so Monday to Friday only. So therefore, no Saturday. They are off on Saturday. Okay. This is more? the name of the bookshop. It's England Bookshop. And then, are there English dictionaries? Yes, they have. Largest bookshop in town. Okay, different dictionaries. It's closing time, 8 p.m. So, no Saturday because it's only Monday to Friday. Okay, Ben? And what is the complete address? Complete address. Okay, it's 18 Preston Road. It's the complete address. This is in England. Okay, look at this one. Oh, this is the bookstore now. This is the New England Bookshop. It's in 18 Preston Road. Okay, this is the bookshop. You imagine you are the owner of this bookshop. Please introduce it based on the given introduction. I'm uh, sorry. Based, introduce it based on the given information. You speak, Ben. Tell me about the bookstore. Okay, go, Ben. I, I, teacher is listening. Um, this is the New England Bookshop. And it's, it's on the 18th Preston Road. This is the largest bookshop in in this town you you ever seen. Wow. The books here for the language learning from dictionary and travel books. It open from my Monday and Friday and 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can tell it. You can tell me it is seven one three eight eight and O. What's that? <laughs> seven. Yeah, you can call me at seven one three eight eight zero. It's zero. It's not O. It's zero. <laughs> You can call at 71. Very good, Ben. Pasudla, pasudla, Julian. Julian, pasudla. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yay. You were able, very easy, right? You were able to introduce your shop because someday you imagine you have your bookshop so you have to introduce something you are the owner so i need to introduce it so that a lot of children a lot of students will go inside the bookshop and buy books in my shop okay this is an advertisement okay this is an advertisement for my bookshop okay you understand ben so very easy yeah okay very easy okay so now yeah. so we are done with our lesson for tonight ben i will see you on very good okay great job i will see you on sunday what time uh 7 30 yeah okay 7 30 on sunday still will be having our listening after listening we'll be back to speaking okay this is okay. these are the three okay so do you like for tonight's topic speaking i know you like speaking okay yeah very easy all you have to do answer the question teacher that's all okay Okay, so for now, Teacher Anne will say goodbye and I will see you on Sunday at 7.30 in the morning. Okay? Okay. Bye, Ben. Good night. See you on Bye. Sunday. Okay. Bye. Okay, sleep now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.